All right, welcome back, guys. It's your boy Magnifico CA, and I've been talking about this one for a while. It arrived a little bit ahead of schedule, and that is none other than our display case. Because as you can see, these statues are piling up, and we need somewhere nice to put it other than my desk. So I actually ended up going with one of the best in the business, and that is none other than Maja Space. In fact, some of you guys might have seen in the past, they formerly went by Maja Case in North America, but they're all under one name now, so it's super easy. Maja Space is their website, and they can cater to multiple regions around the world. And Forte Mine is finally here. Most orders, because everything is custom made, typically is around that 12 month waiting time they have been working on that to try to improve that when I initially ordered mine if I was quoted six months it did end up going a little bit beyond that but not too much more so that's great so we're gonna be building two shelves today it comes with a very durable aluminum frame those will make up the size of the display then you have a almost kind of like a plexiglass sidings so that you can see your statues in all their glory we also have a riser you know I thought those look great I didn't want it to be totally on the floor the loading bar which allows you to double the weight that each shelf can handle and we also bought the top board the top board does support up to 15 pounds more or less so not too much on top of there but they do decide to display something on the top they do recommend that you purchase that as well I'll be sure to showcase all the prices as we go through each part they have a collection of pre-built shelves that that kind of saves you some money mine in particular is the DF 120 that one caters to 1 6 scale statues you go to their website you'll see that they have everything organized by the type of statue or product you're looking to display in my case specifically with the DF 120s they recommend the 1 6 scale statues which will be predominantly what I want to collect because as we saw with the Sasuke one anything bigger than that can take up a lot of space but this should be a great way to showcase everything in spectacular fashion so yeah guys finally without further ado let's dive into it all right guys, just to give you an idea, we have all these different pieces here. Started to begin to break stuff down so you can get a feel for what everything is looking like. Everything they provide does come labeled, which is nice. And from there, yeah, we're gonna put everything together, guys. A few more pieces over here, as well as... Over here we have our bottom shelves as well. I don't know if you can see it from this distance, but these do come with a nice felt cover over the top. It does add a premium feel to it. Boxes did come a little busted open. It's not the fault of Maja Space, but that did happen with UPS, unfortunately. So there were a few things I do need to clean up, but we'll touch those things up together. And let's get through it, guys. Let's get started. All right, guys, so we're gonna start off with the riser over here, because this is the base of everything. A lot of moving parts to this, but once it comes together, it looks amazing, at least for photos. Let's see what they're about. Looks like they do include our tools. We have our pieces to get started as well. Everything is labeled, side panels. So let's get it together, guys. And just so you guys know, they do pack this in a box. A little QR code that takes you to the link on their website that has all the instructions for assembly for each part that you might be putting together. Some of them do have some video demonstrations as well, but not all of them do. But if you do need it, guys, the QR code is right here. You can scan it right from this video as well. And let's get into it. So these are the tools here that come in the black bag for the riser as well as got our little tool here to screw everything in. So let's see if we can't figure this out, guys. Here we go. All right, guys, so let's get to constructing all this stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and cut into this. It says that we're gonna assemble the side bars first, these pieces back here, the black parts, and then we're gonna go from there. So let's start with that. So we'll be starting out with these two parts first. It says use the M5 bolts with the washers to put it together. So it looks like all four bars are in here. This is actually the sidebars that go with the initial part that we need to put together. So we're good guys, let's get started with this. All right, so with the M5 bolt and washer, you wanna screw in just the top part like that, leaving a little space, as then we're getting ready to bring this across to create the T. So let's start with that. And we 
got to do the same thing on one more side here. All right, guys, yeah, so once you get the first part together, it should look like this. And then now we're going to slide in the side panel into here. So let's do that part next. And these are those side panels. The side panels just go in there like so. guys my recommendation on the last portion here is extend both of the top two screws out far enough that you can move the washer into the side over there and get it in between that joint on both sides and then that way you can come over the top and start screwing it in otherwise it can be a little tricky to line both of them up so we got one side securely in there we just gotta keep building it out guys on to the next Got the other side panels here. Again, I like put it to the side so you can bring the washers over on the bolts, and it makes it easier to slide it in on both sides. All right, guys. So next up, we've already prepped the next two sidebars, and since we have the other three sides laid out, we should be able to go ahead and just slide these in. Put enough space, that last panel in there. I think we just need to put the feet on the bottom part. We got two shelves to stack, should be good after that. Let's flip it to the other side. riser is in the appropriate place. Now let's go ahead and get down to the other parts. Alright guys, so we're back at it. Now we need to go ahead and move on to start doing the shelvings themselves. We got the riser good. Those parts at the bottom are the acrylic. Now it does come pre-assembled like this just to get you some space to slide the pieces in correctly. Unfortunately, the other one, since my box broke with UPS, it came apart, so I gotta clean that up, put it back together. But let's start with these over here. Let's get to work. Next thing we need is the side frame. This one's gonna be the top bottom bar. We got an extra pack of tools. On the next section, these frames will already come together like this. Let's take off the two side pieces so we can move this one into the middle part here. But one of them I've already taken apart, so we're gonna use that one to put these together. Let's dive into it. So this is the outside piece here, because within this, you can see the magnets. So that's where the acrylic frame is gonna go over. Familiar with these? but it's not every day you get to acquire something like this. So I thought on my first purchase, I go ahead and grab two of these. These guys are supposed to be the best in the business, so I'm excited to see the final product. All right, so next up, guys, we got the side frame back bar that's gonna attach the pieces we just connected together like so. Let me show you guys. So slight error, we actually have this piece here, which is the back frame, not the pieces of where it attaches. So I'll switch it up and make sure it comes out correct. So let's get it. All right, guys, once you get it right, this is what it should look like. So we got one more we got to do. I got to correct the other ones over here. Again, this, this piece here. Let's open it up. I just want you guys to be able to see that. And then this is just the last side of the second piece. Okay, there we go. Now we got it. Let's see 
what's next. All right guys, so for the next part, we need to go ahead and slide in the back panel. It should be able to slide right in there, guys, just like that. And you do it this way, because this little notch here will allow you to have space for your lighting system. So that's where we're gonna put the tracks for those. Let's go ahead and get that first part in. All right, so actually guys, the back panel slides in here like so. So where the notch is on the outside here, it's kind of going horizontally from where the label is. Unfortunately for me, I had in the shipping, part of it was slightly torn. So we're gonna see if we can fix that as I'm sliding it in. Y'all just watch what I'm doing and follow my lead. So let's try to get this in there correctly. Wipe everything down, but you'll see it should go in there just like that. Perfect. Yeah, that next piece should say back frame middle bar. So that's what we're putting in next. screws on the back end over there. So now let's put the last piece to connect the back frame together. Let's slide these into place. All right, there we go, guys. If you're building two at the same time, you might need to give yourself some space but I got the other one constructed over here. And next, I wanna show you, it actually says you put in those rubber little panels on the side over here. They're gonna go right into that strip because that's where the acrylic panels are gonna sit into. So let's try to go ahead and get those in there. Here we go, guys. Here's an example of one right here. All right guys, so I went back and took a look at, uh, yeah, for these pieces here, you definitely just have to press them in, but we're gonna go ahead and put the last legs on here and then we'll do that part. Because these are gonna be pulled in the top panels. Okay, got that there nice and tight. Okay, that was good, nice and tight as well. Next guys, they say we can go ahead and slide the top panels in. Thing with the little small notches you see here, these are going to be the ones that are going to be closer to the outside. So, did I do something wrong? All right, guys, so I finally figured this out. I was struggling with it the other day, but I found that with the top panels, you might think that because the label is here, that oh, this must be the way that it needs to go in, and it might be correct. But if it's not, this top panel is actually the, the same length on each side. So where the label is might not be where it needs to go in terms of the shelf. This part goes into where you have the big side frame for the back piece. So for instance, as the back piece sits a little bit taller, wherever it sits a little bit taller is where that notch is gonna go. So in this case, this one goes here. So we're gonna slide it in there. And once we do that, that should work perfectly. Yep, see, that locked right into place. Now this one over here, you see the label's here, but the notch is actually here. So for that, we need to turn to its side, and now we won't have all that difficulty that we had before. There we go. All right, guys, so now that we finally got that corrected, we need to go ahead and put in these little pieces here. This is actually for the acrylic piece. So this, we need to kind of push in there. You can just kind of line it up, and this is what's going to have that dustproof seal for the clear acrylic displays on the side. We got one in here, and let's get one more for the other side too. Make sure it's a good length for where you're putting it at. Yeah, this looks correct. Perfect, this one's good. All right, guys, and then the shorter pieces, of course, are going to go to the sides over here. Got one more side. Yeah, that looks good too. Perfect. All right, guys, so next up, we gotta put in the, the 
acrylic plexiglass over here. And every demonstration I've seen of this thus far, people doing this have always removed the covering away from the sides. So that way, after you get it into place, it keeps it clean first off. And then also too, once you get it in here, you don't have to worry about trying to peel this off and have it tear in there. So let's give it a try. I've already started it just a little bit, so we're just gonna peel everything away from the edges. Is good. Right, guys, this is part number two. Right now we got the DF120 turned to a side, so the top part is down. This is the back side, so this will go to the front. I also took the liberty of putting the rubber holdings for the acrylics on the side pieces in as well, so that we can stick those in as we screw it. Hopefully it all comes together. So let's give this a try, guys. So we're deviating a little bit from how the directions did it because it seems to be easier if you get the last leg on first. That's how I saw some of the video demonstrations of this on YouTube, so I'm going to try it this way too. Next what we're going to do is go ahead and put in the rubber piece for the side paneling over there. And we should be on point. Feels more snug and secure than it did before. All right guys, I think I've just finally resolved the issue here. Time to have one more package of the middle bars and I was wondering why. You'll see, be very careful when you're putting this together because these two are very close, but the middle bar you see is slightly longer than the side bars. So I had to take that off. And now, when you put these in, we shouldn't have the same issue we did prior. Here, I just decided I'm gonna do it individually. I think it'll make my life easier. All right, guys, I just reattached the side piece over there. So of course, if one middle bar was incorrect, the other one most likely was as well. So I had to fix this one too. It's correct now. So we finally got everything on there correctly. Oh yeah, that's smooth. Get the last washer up here enough. It's sturdy. So we're nearly complete. At this stage, you would typically put it in your base and the plexiglass front, but mine I actually bought the enhancement bars. And basically what that does is double the weight load that the shelves can handle. So we're gonna put that part on next. Let's get it. All right guys, so we have one set of those enhancement bars here. Let's go ahead and unpack this. Perfect guys, so your loading bars look just like the side bars here. And then they should include Another pack of tools specifically for those. These are going to go into the corners of our display box and then as well as attach on the two sides of the middle frame bar. So let's go ahead and hop into that next. All right, first up guys, they got what's called these alignment pieces. Basically, they're going to go the opposite end of each of the bars. So you're going to have one on this side like this and another one on this side like that. And then we're going to attach this and the center piece here to act as another support. But to be able to do that, we're gonna also need one of our packets of these little bracket pieces, which we're gonna put into the existing back frame. That way we have something to screw into when we try to attach it. All right guys, we got one in there just like that. Same thing guys, so you see, that's our little piece here. It has two little grooves on the end of each side, so that way, kind of tilt it so that it gets in there. And once you got it in there, it's just like that, guys. So you can kind of move it up and down. It's protected under those grooves. Okay, that feels tight. One, two. So next up, we need four more of those little alignment brackets to go into the sides here. So I put one bar here, one bar there, and then they got little joints that we're gonna put at each corner. Just like that. You 
Should be able to hold it in place without needing to do anything else, guys. Feel that, see? Those bars aren't moving at all. We got one more to do. Let's get it. We got all the enhancement bars in there now. Again, super sturdy. That's gonna double the weight load. Now we just have to put the wedges into the corners. We're gonna screw those in next. The wedges look just like this. We're doing the same process. Don't have to worry about the washers. Just grab our screws that we have. Bag of those here. And in here is, you'll see with the alignment pieces, they place the hole here and there's a little gap there. So use that as a space in between each of the two because you're gonna put two side by side, but you're actually gonna space them out just a little bit. So let me show you on the shelf itself. All right guys, here we go. So you'll see how I aligned everything there so that the holes line up. Let's see if I take this off before we screw it on, just so you can see, that's an idea of what the spacing will look like, so. All right, so. Here we go guys, this is the right size screw. Again, the packages aren't labeled, so this isn't my first time running into this, but they look almost identical. Perfect, this one's slightly smaller though, guys. Are you ready to make that adjustment when you go in to put the wedges here? Screw it in, because this is too big. Right, let's switch this out. The right tool for the right job is important. So this is the same size as the one we've been using, but they give you a smaller one for the wedges. So let's move on to that. Grab some power tools and see if it works. Yeah, I'll make my life easier, guys. Let's try this though. I told you I won't quit. All right, guys. So once you complete everything, it should look something like this. Let me go down and check it out over here. This is how mine came out. Now, just so you know, with the bottom bar that's double sided, so that's on the end over here where the back panel is. Just to give you guys a heads up, I did actually have a little scraping when I put in the second enhancement bar, but I don't mind as much since this is where the base is going to go over top, so you shouldn't see that. This is how it should come together. So, we got one more to do. Let's knock it out. So, we got the other one set up correctly now with all the legs. Let's see how quickly we can get through the rest. Let's get it. <laughs> All right guys, so look, we finally got everything done here. Both of the enhancement bars are in, so now we've doubled the weight that the shelves can handle. The next things we'll need to do is put on the base, stack these two, connect them to the risers, and put in the lighter. We're almost there, guys. <laughs> okay, next up we're going to do the vertical stacking, and it should be simple because we've already followed the steps to make the riser, and it should be the same thing just going up. So. This is our base here. Uh, let's bring it out to the forefront. Put these on second, guys, because this is not going to go in there in the front. It needs to go down the side for this to work. So take the ones off the back. Let's get the ones in the front, too. So let's line it up accordingly. The one we have in the front, it's kind of drop down over here. Once it drops in, it should go in smoothly, just like this. Kind of want to get it evenly between the two, somewhere around here. Start screwing them in like so. And make sure everything is nice and secure. Okay. All right, guys, I think we got everything now. A lot of the back, a lot of this side over here. Make sure everything follows these grooves as you put it through. I love that the way Maja Space built these makes it look very premium. You've seen some shelves out there that kind of look like shelving for a garage or a shed. When you have it displayed in your home, you want it to look really nice. So let's get the other pieces. We're almost there. All right, guys. So we got the first part connected to the riser. Now we're going to get the next part over the top as well. Rule of thumb, it makes it easier if you put them in a place where they're already kind of hidden, you know? Because I could have ran this same support bar down here, but if I put it in the back, you can't really see it. So everything looks a little bit more clean, but we're not sacrificing support. Let's go ahead and attach this one here. All right, guys, so take a look. This is it here. This is kind of the view you should be seeing once you get both pieces stacked and you get those loading bars in there. You can feel it's a lot more sturdy. So once you put that 
baseboard in there. Again, it can handle up to about 30 kilograms or 66 pounds. So we're gonna clean everything in the space one more time, make sure it looks really good. I have a top board that's gonna go over the top as well, just like that. And one more time, you'll see, since we come across over here, we got those support bars on the back ends holding everything together. So we got the riser, first level, and then the second one there. All right, let's finish it up, guys. Now, before we get to the base, I'm just gonna wipe everything down one more time. Let's do it, guys. In a moment, let's come try to put in the LEDs. All right, let's get to that next. And rolling right along, we're gonna go ahead and step into trying to put together the LED light strips that come with it. I went with the warm white color. I really like that because a lot of the, the statues I chose that have LEDs have a, a more of a bright color, kind of the white LED. So I want to switch it up a little bit, give it a different look. Let's put it together. All right, guys, so this package is gonna come with your LED light strips here, as well as the power adapter. And the displays came with these covers for the LED so you can kind of mask everything and it totally blends in. All right, so next up guys, we need to make sure that LED lights work. So let's grab the power adapter, put that together. We'll start with the bottom shelf and then work our way up. So my surge detector is over here. We're gonna run it from the right side. So you wanna make sure you have them in a space where they connect like this. And then essentially within your bag, you get these little stickers. They're adhesive for the LED lights. You got four for each, and you're gonna adhere it to the top. Make sure the LED lights are facing inward, and they're gonna go top, just like this. Oh yeah, look at that, guys. We got that nice warm light, beautiful. I know a lot of people go with the bright white light, and you know, to each their own, but for me, this is my style here. So let's follow things up. We're now connecting the adhesive covers for the cables. Now, the cable holders come with an adhesive on the back, so you want to attach it right to where the chute is for your cables. I've seen some people in older videos have it where their cable chute was downward. At least for me, mine are in the upward positions, and I prefer it there. I think it makes it easier to hide stuff. They also have another one in the center, so you can run it through there. You want to leave a space because once you put this on, you'll put the cover back over top of it. That's just to hide the cables for the LEDs that are going to run in the front. Let's try to do it. So this is where I'll start taking off some of these stickers too. Well, I appreciated their help in the beginning, but it's at the end now, so. <laughs> I told you, I won't quit! Let's see what it's like bringing the cable over to to set this up so the lights are connected this way. Yeah, that works, that looks good. Just got the first set of stickers. Let's begin to get these in place. So for the second one, okay, perfect. Get that there. Get that there, nice and strong. I'm gonna move this back so we can put the cable through here and have it in place. Then we'll test it out so we can do the next one. Whew. All right, look at that, guys. One down. We got one more to go. Let's put up the last light fixer. Just notice too, guys, that this is in the package as well. This looks like an extension cable, I guess, if you needed it. But um, at least thus far, we've been okay. So we'll put that to the side for now. Voila! I'm beautiful, guys. What do you think? Easy peasy. Follow the same steps. Let me tell you too, uh, just so you know guys, they do actually give you an extra little adhesive piece here. So if you did have a statue where you were running cables at the top and you wanted to have them go that way too, you got a space to hide them. So just so you know, I'll hold on to that because I got all my cables running out the left side where the power adapter is. The next thing we're going to do is now that we got, we got those tracks placed, let's go ahead and put on the cover for the cables so that kind of helps mask everything better. Pop on and off, guys. So, as your collection grows or 
that. Another thing you need to hide, you can do that for sure. Something nice and tight, guys. Let's do the same thing for this side. Well, it's great, guys. Now we're just about ready to put on the base. Okay, guys, so these are the baits that Magic Case provide for you. They put a little velvet sheet across the top. Now, again, with mine, it did get a little messed up in transit, so I bought a lint roller. We're just gonna roll that across to try to clean it up a little bit. Go ahead and get ready to put it in place. Ah, uh, there we go. That looks super clean, guys. Let's get the roller to clean it up. Okay, excellent, guys. Here we go. We got a new sheet. Rip away the old one. Let's go ahead. A lot, doesn't it? Looks much better. All right, here we go, guys. Now, the second one is much cleaner, but for the spots we do have, we're just going to hit it before we even put it in there. Whew, that looks good, guys. I think it's almost ready. All right, guys, and this is the final piece here. This isn't automatically included, by the way. This is something you can add in addition. I think if you're going to stack two pieces, this is nice to have over the top. It looks like this thing look a little bit cleaner. This is the top board by Manja Space, so it gives you a nice cover. It's just that blank white piece over the top, and it also allows you to display something on the top if you want. Take this off. So we can begin to start placing some of the statues here. Starting with this special one that we just acquired. I know y'all just recently seen that video, haven't you? If not, you know where to find it, guys. Head to the other videos on my channel. Check them out, man. We got a lot more special stuff coming. Oh, man, look at that. Nice and easy. This is Sasuke. I'll dedicate that one to the Uchiha right here, guys. I think the complimentary piece I'm gonna have somewhere in the front. Looks beautiful. Let's include the bus somewhere in there as well. We also want to display the collector's coins too. Where should those go, guys? Finally, we gotta include the one with Madara over here. My favorite, my inspiration. Okay. The best of the best among the Uchiha. A 1A scale of Hashirama coming as well. I think that will fit in there too. Now the Madara one is one we do know that has an LED, so let's go ahead and try to set that up in here. Just so y'all know what it is when you receive it, it's this little packet here. And these are like little bracket covers for cables, so you can hide anything that you might want to display like this. Push come to shove, you know you can always pop out the, uh, move the statue real quick to make sure this looks clean. Yes sir, that's what we wanted guys. We're going to clean it up a little bit, then put the plexiglass cover over the front. And lastly guys, they do provide us with a cleaning cloth. It's good for you know, fingerprints and stuff. Finally guys, the last thing to do is to put the plexiglass cover on. This is totally dust proof too. Almost got it guys. There we go. And 
this side has the magnets, so I'll just flip it over. And let's get it on there. Okay, there we go. That's in there. Let's take this off as well. Alright, look at that guys, that's one. Finally made it. That was quite the project, but I definitely wanted to show you guys everything in detail because this is really cool, especially if you get the opportunity to build something like this yourself. And you now have another guy. So just some of the pointers that helped me get through it myself, I wanted to share with y'all. Anyways, of course, we got a lot of statues that have piled up since trying to complete this. So I can't wait to showcase those things next. Continue to like and subscribe. We appreciate all the love you guys give. And as always, Find purpose through your passions. This is CA. I'm out.